Well, hello. We're <laughs> Team Filosoma. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're five guys from uh, DTU uh, Mechanical. Um, and we've done this uh, system, actually, uh, based on my grandmother. Um, yeah. She fell about a year ago, I think, mm -hmm. um, and cannot move her arm uh, all the way up by herself. So uh, we were about to do a project, and we thought, OK, so uh, we can do a mechanical solution to this and help her out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we signed up for the E-Factor competition because it was uh, extremely spot on what we wanted to do. Yeah. So the thing that we did was that we contacted uh, Bloomstrup Hospital um, and um, um, thought of this home rehabilitation system uh, for people who have uh, suffered a trauma on the spine um, and are no longer able to lift their arm, like Catherine here. Uh, yeah. We're, in, we're collaborating with Gloucester Hospital. Um, after we presented the idea, they, they were really keen to see it uh, go forward. Um, and we're collaborating with the, with the physiotherapists, and uh, they have uh, a lot of people uh, researching on EMG uh, electrodes and how, how to work, uh, work it out. Um, yeah, so basically we came up with, with this solution based on a tube that stretches out when it gets inflated. Um, thought we can we can use this to uh, to lift an arm. In this case, uh, with Kathleen, it's uh, yeah we we're only doing it forward, only doing forward motion. Um, and by attaching the muscle like this around on the back, um, and when it the muscle wants to stretch out, when it inflates, we can actually lift the arm like this. So um, I can show you here, and it's uh, we have e EMG electrodes on uh, on the arm. So when I tighten the muscle here then uh, the tube gets inflated. And I can, I can control it actually pretty, pretty precise. And I can hold the position and I can let go again. Yeah. So um, this system could potentially be uh, implemented so that Kathleen would get the, the electrodes on her shoulder. And every time she tries to move the arm, then we get a signal. And, and this tube will help her move the arm uh, the rest of the way. Uh, yeah, and in comparison to uh, existing systems. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then Rotem um, Hospital uh, already have a, a system called Amio, um, and it's uh, very big and very bulky. Uh, it's a huge mechanical and it's very precise. Um, it's uh, stationary, you can't take it home, and it costs approximately $100,000 for this system. Um, but these patients who suffered a trauma, uh, who needs uh, rehabilitation, who needs to train the muscles again, they need up to two hours of training every day. And that's just impossible if you have one machine standing at the hospital. So the training hours they do have, they have to travel to the hospital every day to train. Um, and it takes up a lot of, it's economically very, um, it's very expensive. Um, so this system, uh, the idea is that it's not as precise, but it's very flexible. Um, so if, you, uh, if it helps actuate the arm in this direction, it doesn't, um, it doesn't hinder you from moving your arm in this direction. Um, no, okay. And also, when it's deflated, yeah. there's no uh, you, you don't yeah. really feel it because it's completely soft. Yeah. So this is basically just a suit that you wear, and until you want to use it, it's completely soft, and you hardly notice it. Yeah. And it would be for people training at home. Uh, somebody could come in the home and help put on this suit, and you could train for a couple of hours, doing um, exercises that is relevant because. Um, in the physiotherapy, they focus very much on doing everyday tasks like drinking from a cup. Uh, but uh, it becomes a bit artificial when you're doing it at the hospital. But if you could do it in your own, if you if you could do it in your own home and drinking from a cup or brushing your teeth or these kind of movements, and that uh, research shows that that is really what's needed for for faster recovery time. And obviously, this is a much cheaper system as well. This this muscle, you can construct this particular muscle very, very cheaply. Like that's, uh, I don't know, a couple of hundred krona, well less, much less than that actually. Yeah, this entire system uh, uh, for actuation in one direction would be maybe uh, $500 dollars. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Around that, without, yeah. the, without the air pressure though. But yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's another point that uh, most hospitals have air pressure in uh, uh, outlets in the walls. So, yeah, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. If you would still maintain the going to the hospital to, to exercise, then instead of investing in one one amio, then oh, yeah, they could have one amio and then supplement the the rehabilitation process by having a few of these, um, and that would be very cheap.
extension. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, so uh, another another point is that uh, EMG electrodes, the one you use, they're not completely uh, absolute in the value. So it depends on where you put them, what type of type of muscle you put them on, how strong the muscle is. Um, so uh, we made this calibration process. So when you put it on uh, and you turn on this uh, system, then it's initially it, it will be red, asking for calibration. And then if you press this button, then you see your current value. And if I tight, uh, tighten the muscle, then you see the range where I go. So I go to this, and then I release the calibration. And now it spreads out uh, the range, the, the operation range. Um, so my maximum actuation is within the range that I can actually do. So you can put it on every, every muscle you want. Even a weak person with very weak muscle activity yeah. could use this. Um, yeah, and uh, so now I can just I can tighten the muscle. So if I want to go up, I tighten it uh, like this, and if I want to hold it, then I, I do this. So it let loose a little bit more, and then if I relax it completely, then it uh, lets down down. And furthermore, we have this uh, tweak process built in in the little box. So we have two per parameters here we can change, and you can see this uh, this little circle here. It's um, Basically, it shows the whole range. So the green, the, uh, the green color, that's uh, the area of the range that puts pressure inside the muscle. And the, uh, what's it called, the color? The blue, the, blue uh, the top color? I don't know what that color is. The, the green, that one. Uh, Suyan. Suyan. Yeah, that's uh, the hold. And, uh, and the blue one, that's uh, the exhaust. So you can basically, you can just put it in how you want it. So if you want a bigger, range for holding the muscle, then you just put it in like this. Then there's a lot of range for holding. And if you want a lot of uh, pressure, easy access to pressure, then you put the, the mag over there. Uh, so, yeah. 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 So you have several ways to, to control it and just to set it up for your own um, for your own arm, or for your own whatever you uh, you attach the electrodes to. And the idea Let's is that the small experiment. Let's yeah. You can try to do some movements, and he has to replicate them. Can you do that? <laughs> replicate them. Oh, uh, so I, so I have to. Uh, the, the thing to is, right now that we put it on a muscle that doesn't control the lift, the movement no, of the no, arm. Yeah, but if yeah, if you move your arm, I try to. Ah, okay. So just to see the precision. There's a bit of black in it because the algorithm right now, the smoothing algorithm, it's uh, yeah, it it's not set up in a very very uh, good way yet. So we do get a delay. So if I tighten the muscle completely right now, I do this, and that's, the, that's how fast that's it works. Yeah. Um, yeah, so since a, these people are not interested in very fast movements, mm. it, it's not yeah. a problem that was yeah. really... So I'm not so interested in the speed, I'm interested in the control. How yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Good ah, okay. control you have. Yeah, so ah, okay. if you if you move your arm, okay, you I, I have to mine. I have to look at this though while I look at that okay, and see can, where I it goes. Go <laughs> so see if I can hit it. Okay, so I go we haven't like tried this. this before. So. Yeah, it doesn't go lower than that. Can you scratch my? <laughs> I can't scratch my. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's the next level, I think. Yeah.